and sponsor Duma is here uh, to speak to us as well. MEC, you're back again. Thank you. L let's talk about the day because we were speaking to his family. And Dr. Mbogeni Gama's family says that for them, this was a befitting send-off and a farewell from his community. For you, what was your impressions of what happened inside? We are so gracious first with the family, how they've treated the situation. It's not an easy matter to lose your beloved, your loved one, and the authority head of the home. The family has behaved very well in working closer with us, and we are so gracious how they've treated the ANC and the government. But the reality is that it's a sad day. Mungen Gema was humongous. Mungen Gema was gigantic. I've already highlighted that he was an African giant, and we are glad that what is befitting to the family is what is going to satisfy us as the ANC and government. And we have also highlighted that till the last day, he was able to, to say that ANC, you did this to me. You made me what I am today, but I do have some grievances, like any member, which is okay. And the family is saying that ANC will forever with you because you've also remembered. We are just going to keep this fire burning by creating his legacy as government. And let's talk about his grievances, because his grievances, he wasn't shy to talk about them. And, and you know, it's, it's something that he would even take back to the moment when he would start theatre, the fights and all of that. So let's talk about just that, what the ANC does with all of his grievances now that he's gone. I would want us to deal with fundamentals in our context after the new dispensation after 94. We had to deal with two things in the main, that is education and that is the health of our people. Remember that we were taken to periphery as a country, Africans in particular were isolated. So to deal with social economic transformation, we had to juxtapose with those two. It's true that when it comes to creative art, fortunately Mbongen Gemma was given during the, the pandemic of AIDS. At least he drove the issue of theatre. He took it out of the township, out of the uh, to open stream, like the playhouse of this world. Which was good, but it's true that a lot still have to be done by this government. We have started the journey. We are fortunate that inside the ANC, the criticism is always allowed because we lead the, the society. As government, we are always mindful in addressing the imbalance of the past. Mongeni Gemma's Lakers must be relieved by this government. We must always remember him well that he started this journey. We must remember the Gibson Kenters of this world, people who design and manufacture theatre during the oppression, during the, the pure time of apartheid. So we are grateful that we are still going to continue the journey as he has taught us to do so. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. That was the ANC chairperson in the province of Bosnia, Natanz Moniso Duma, and uh, also speaking to us about the fact that uh, Dr. Mungeni Gemma had a lot of grievances. They were there. He was speaking about it and talking about the difficulties that he had when he was reconciling the, the, you know, the freedom, the protest that they would stage in theatre versus South Africa today. He says that's something they're going to continue to try and address, but we'll continue with our broadcast um, even when we bring you the viewers, the funeral on Friday as we reflect on his legacy, talking about all sides of his legacy because there's a lot to talk about. There's a Bonget Dr. Mbogeni Gemma, the playwright, the, 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 the composer, the musician, and so many things, and even his friends saying he was a politician. So we'll continue to bring you more on this particular story. It's back to you in studio.